The most controversial MMA moments from 2020 are here. We start with a controversial moment from Nicaragua NFC event. One fighter called timeout after an eye injury, but according to MMA rules, timeout can only be called by the referee. Because of that, the fight wasn't stopped after timeout call, but it was stopped after fighter didn't defend himself anymore. The worst referee mistakes ever by Clever Lopes. The National Athletic Commission of MMA, CAN MMA, saw that all unfold and has suspended Clever Lopes for his bad refereeing. At 11 seconds of the first round, Michael was knocked out by a high kick to the head, and the referee made his first mistake, not interrupting the fight, the statement read. He committed the second mistake by allowing the fight to continue with the athlete unconscious. We apologize to the athletes, teams, MMA fans, and Thunder Fight for the mistakes committed due to the lack of experience of the professionals, the statement read. We informed that the referees that committed the mistakes were interns who were getting tested and had no experience as referees, but had undergone rule courses previously. Sorry, I'm, 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 I'm taking back a little bit. Hey, you can't sleep on... Oh! oh! You can't sleep on Will Carnes' head! Great knockout win for Will Carnes. But you'll probably start asking why this is so special or controversial. Will Carnes is probably the worst MMA fighter of all time. Before this fight, he had an MMA pro score 0 and 41. So Will find his first MMA pro victory in his 42nd fight? Congratulations, Will. Unfortunately for him, seven days later, he lost again. Power out. Yeah, there's no way. Bridge, like... And, he, and, he's, and he's grabbing the gear, grabbing the head, and that's kind of something you see from an early fighter grabbing onto something that's not even there and just wearing oh, he themselves can, out. He can finish it off here. This, this is, is not good. This is not good. Al Darmaki refused to release his rear naked choke on Kirilenko, which led to a physical struggle, followed by some pushing and shoving before ultimately a disqualification finish. Maybe Al Darmaki didn't feel the tap, or perhaps he didn't hear Goddard's plea to stop. And that was a first win for Bogdan Kirilenko in his MMA career. We'll get this sorted out, right? Yeah, of course. I think it might squeeze a little bit too long. I'm not sure. We need to see on the replay. So let's see what happened right here. So this was the action before he got a choke. Yeah, he got a choke, he tapped, yeah. That was yeah. a clean one, he didn't let go, and that's yeah. why Mark Goddard tried to pull he him off. He hold on for a couple more seconds. Right, and, and Aldermaki kind of like, didn't like it, and here we go, a seat of action yeah. right now, it's where his mouth guard he cannot down push. the canvas. That was, uh, I don't agree with his attitude. After the weighing and posing win in the best order, Barofsky gave the hostess something to hold on to. After a face-to-face -face confrontation, he took it and placed it in front of the opponent's face, and then it could be noticed as it was a diaper. Tribala did not initially react to the provocation, but he did so after Barofsky tried to catch his pants. Tyson Fury's newest training session literally brought the house down. The Gypsy King is gearing up for a fight with undefeated German star Ajit Kabayel, canceled soon after. But the 32-year-old Gypsy King took things to another level when he rocked the heavy bag so hard it looked like the sky was falling. You can see pieces from the ceiling where the bag was attached came crumbling down on top of the champ who tried to move out of the way. Fucking monster. Vaso Bakachevic fight in Zagreb against local hero Evika Trusek for baddest motherfucker on the Balkan. He lost at the end, but he enjoyed in this fight.
Ambos de Tuari. Vamos agora para a encarada oficial para logo mais essa luta. This is the spirit of a warrior. Frank Sanchez and Julian Fernandez in a battle of the heavyweights. We're in round five. Fernandez is completely outperformed by Sanchez, and he starts to be cocky. He tries to provoke his opponent, but without any success. And soon after, instant karma. Sanchez hurt Fernandez with everything he hit him with and put the blown up heavyweight out of his misery with a devastating right hand that sent him out of the ring in the seventh round. The strong finish helped Sanchez maintain his perfect record. He's now 17-0 in his career. Freak Show is here. In one of the sport's most bizarre moments in 2020, female MMA star Darina Mazduk has defeated 240 kilogram or 529 pound heavy YouTuber Grigory Kristiakov in a fight in Russia. Darina is 62 kilograms or 136 pounds heavy professional fighter who boasts three wins from four encounters, while blogger Kristiakov has nearly 120,000 subscribers on his YouTube channel. The fight lasted 90 seconds, with Kishtiakov immediately going on the attack and running the 28-year-old around the cage. But Mazdjik proved her class, dropping her rival with a series of strikes to the head. And again, we have a happy ending. Roman Akramenchik lost his fight at Road to WWFC event, but he didn't give up from his plan to propose to his girlfriend, Tanya, if we heard her name correctly. Я тебя люблю. Ты выйдешь за меня? Все, всем спасибо, большое спасибо организаторам турнира. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching.